Good morning, friends. Our next day in Wenshan began with just waking up, thank goodness. Because yesterday was quite an extreme day. We had to drive back for a few hours to get our passports. But it turned out fine. We got them back. And we're going to Malipo again. And we'll try to stop by a tea village. The weather is good. The rain stopped. There was a storm last night. We came out of our hotel and saw at the entrance that the people set up a sort of farmer's market. It's a typical phenomenon throughout China because farms are located far away from large cities though they also have farmer's markets. But not this kind of market, authentic. Where people who come down from the mountains from small villages bring their products to large townships to sell. Mostly they're old people, grandmothers and grandfathers. Sometimes you see young people who are farming too. It's interesting to observe all of them, because it's a chance to watch many minority people dressed in their national costumes. I love walking around such places. They usually sell the simplest vegetables, onion, cabbage, some kind of mushrooms, whatever grows in their gardens. A typical farmer's market. And it only works on certain days. Because yesterday, when we were leaving the hotel, there was nothing. Today is Monday, and they've set up. Apparently they do it on some schedule. So now we're in a small village, right next to the border with Vietnam. We reach the furthest villages of Malipo County. So we're in Wenshan doing a degustation of shings. We have two autumn sheng pues and one spring sheng from this year. This is all Mao Cha, first harvest. In fragrance, this sheng is very curious and unusual, unlike all other shengs I've drunk before. Consequently, I'm sure we'll have something new. Another thing is that the tea is grown here in an unusual way. Wonderful. This is the second time, or even the fourth, when our own teaware that I brought with me came in handy. Because the local tea guardians don't have any teaware, only glasses. It's an autumn tea, typical flavor. Often autumn teas can have a slightly rotten flavor. The farmer told us a well-known story that the tea trees used to be big, but they were cut down. Maybe later we'll have a look at them. He said they were difficult to climb, so we always cut them. He says that all his tea is picked from old trees. The youngest trees are about 50 years old. This autumn tea has quite a decent aroma. In this one, there's less aroma, but more taste. I asked them whether they press tea cakes. He said, no, we don't press. We sell Mao Cha only. I guess that people from other regions of Yunnan come here for it, because the tea is delicious. Not bad at all. It's a curious sheng, original. This young tea is more like a typical sheng with its usual taste. And the autumn teas are very special. Either I haven't drunk shengs for a long time, or they really are special. Last year we didn't renew our loose leaf shengs. We were asked all the time when they would come. We overdid it with them two years ago. And this year, we decided to go back to renovate our sheng line. So we'll have many sheng pues from this region and other regions of Yunnan. A decent sheng, unvarnished. But it costs the same as Mao Char anyway. Our farmer complains that young people don't want to harvest, only old people do. He's saying that everything has changed. 
but he's still producing a little tea. The tea harvest is reduced because not many people harvest it. So this one was made in August last year, and this in September. We chose a simple tea, and in this bag is Danjo, tea from a single tree. He says the tree trunk was this thick. It's hard to say it from the leaf appearance, but it differs strongly, really. <laughs> We're trying out Lao Cha. He says he hasn't sold everything. He's saying that drug addicts drink Lao Cha and it's beneficial for them because it detoxes the body. We made up our mind and opted only for this tea. I drank Dan Zhou now and I didn't like it. It had a strange taste. But I like the autumn tea and the spring. So I guess we'll have two local shengs.